Hey everybody, it's Patty with Get Personal with Patty, and I am done with school. Yay! I finished this morning. So I can officially say that I'm earned my associate's degree in business management. It took me three years, and the last eight weeks has been very stressful, and that's why you haven't seen me update my planners or my budget books but going forward i hope to add more content to my channel and really get back on track with my tracking and i, I think I'm, I'm doing a really good job with tracking in december i'm doing a good job with spending only cash for christmas but i have some changes coming to my budget for 2024 and i've talked about it a little bit when i'm ready to set up for um january which will be you know in another couple weeks I will definitely go over those changes with you. But let's go over the last week of spending um, as well as my new paycheck. All right. And I did, for those wondering, finally get paid from the town that owed me for two months. Um, I did deposit that money into, um, I feel like I'm, yeah, that's the, the next paycheck. So I did deposit that into this account and kind of already using it. And then I got paid from my next town of minutes that I just did. Um, so that's going to go into that account where I'm going to start just taking, you know, saving and taking that money to do savings, sinking funds and savings challenges. Okay, let's just get to the last week of spending, which is from the um, December 6th to the 9th. Is that right? Uh, when did I get my paycheck? Six through the 12th. And then I got paid on the 13th. So um, I have a cushion over here and here of 100. My regular savings is $65. I had $40 in gas. And then I put gas in my husband's car last weekend, which was $25.03. Um, my dog got groomed at 105. Child care was 100. Gas bill was 50. Takeout was 6067 and then 2382 and then 6067. Yep. I wonder if that's in there twice. Uh yep. I'll have to check that. And then I went out to uh, dinner with a friend for his birthday and then it was 60 611. Yeah, I feel this is twice, so that's not accurate. Geesh, I certainly don't want an extra $60 in there. Uh, we went to Trader Joe's for groceries last week. That was $92. Walmart had to pick up a couple things after the fact. It was $31.45. I got some Color Street nails. I'm trying not to bite my nails a little bit. And so I'm going to put the Christmas Color Street. Let's hope that works. $12.97. And then I got sneakers, which was fifty four fifty seven. I want to say. So all in all, it wasn't like crazy spending, um, but I'm glad I tracked it. So, I mean, really, for me, that's half the battle because I really want to know where my money goes. I can budget it till I'm blue in the face, but then if I don't track it, it's, you know, what's the point? Right? right. Okay, right. Now, December 13th, that's the paycheck I just recently got. So let's go over that. My cushion rollover was $8.90. My paycheck was $7.31.38. I got an extra child care check for $3.27.50. And then finally, the two months that I have not got paid, I finally got paid and that was $600. So my total to um, inflow was $16.67. So right away, I put $100 into cushion. I just made a Capital One payment of $200. A big lots credit card payment of 50 uh, another credit card payment of 50 and then child care was 268 uh, Allie is 40 hmm, plus 25 oh yes okay 25 here I paid Gracie's um, mass health premium monthly it's um, 14840 and then for subscribe and save which we do um, once a month, usually coffee, uh, Gracie's wipes, $66.94. That one used to be a lot higher, so I'm kind of glad I'm kind of watching that. Um, I had to get tape for Gracie's belly. That was $28.62. 
And then Christmas 2932 uh, for Grace and Max. Gary's copy is 20. Oh, that's up there. So, oh my God. I, I signed up for a 1696 for Chegg, which just helped me finish the last of my math class. I already canceled that. Gas, I put in 50. I might might need another 30 before I, you know, before the weeks end, but I'll probably just um weekends end. But um I tried to get gas every Wednesday, so I should be able to make it till then. Dine out, we have no dine out because we usually do Friday night family dinner and last night we had a Christmas party, which there was no spending on our part, and then today um we're not gonna get anything out for dinner. And then tomorrow we're not going to have dinner out. So we we have zero on dine out this week. Groceries. I just went to Walmart and um, how much did we spend? I did not do a haul. It was kind of like a, you know, run in, run out kind of thing. Oh, yeah, 71 .85. So I got that 71 .85. I did renew my license today. And that was... Um, Fifty dollars. So let me put that here as well. I'm not doing sinking funds this week. I just put a big line through that. Uh, so seventy one eighty five for groceries. Walgreens. I spent thirty nine seventy three. My husband's gift was one eighty three seventy two. Again, I paid cash. Uh, then I got some gift certificates for, for friends and Gary stocking as well. It was twenty four and then fifty. And then child care, oops, child care, additional $90. And then my license renewal was 50 So, so far, so good. Um, of course, I have to tally all this up, you know, but um, that's kind of where I'm spending my check this week. And like I said, I did get paid that extra $600. I'm happy about that. I did get paid from the other town that I put right into my online account. And um, we'll try to save from there as well as if I need money, I'll take it out and stuff envelopes but kind of want to get like a good cushion in there before I kind of spend anything but we'll see um kind of all set with stickers and Christmas is coming up and my birthday is coming up so next week's paycheck is really going to be toward um we're going away for my birthday and probably you know just spending money through there so not a lot going on um you know just trying to do what everybody else is doing and save money spend money intentionally get my sick and funds and my savings challenges all kind of caught up with for the end of the year, which I don't think is going to happen, to be honest. But, you know, it is what it is. At least I've had the money to be able to do what I've needed to do, especially when it comes to child care and paying back those people that I owed for child care. That is my story. You know what? I'm just relieved that class is done. And I think I'm talking too fast in this video. And I appreciate if you're still with me. And just give me some couple of days. It's all surreal. It took me three years to accomplish this. I'm proud of myself, but it's been a long three years. So <laughs> just kind of want to, you know, get back to my planning and routines and my budgeting and my cleaning off my desk and, you know, taking care of Grace and all that good jazz. So happy weekend. It's a week before Christmas. I hope you have your shopping done. And if you do, leave, you know, leave a note down below and tell me how it's going. Um, stick to your budget. Thanks for being here. Bye.